Hi everyone, Killer Sentry here. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick Pick Thursday video. Um, I know I just uploaded F Funky Monkey's package opening tonight. Um, that was from Tuesday. Um, so I've been pre-recording stuff because of work now and uploading at a later date. So um, this one's actually live, like on Thursday. So um, yeah, so since as soon as I got this on Tuesday. Because my first American lock, I had to pick it, of course, and um, yeah, just a really, really fun pick. Um, cool lock, my first American lock. Um, I just like the look of these, you know, that embossing there and everything, the shape. Just yeah, just I just really like these locks, and I like, like, like the shape of the Kibo. Um, they just look really, 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 really cool. I just like the look of them. I, I can see why people collect them in what all different colours. They are a really cool looking lock. Um, so okay, so see it opens, no problem all. This one's not key retaining, so yeah, it's gonna sp sprung caught, oh, it feels dead now. But yeah, yeah so it, it is a sprung core. F fairly strong spring tension. Um, five pinner. That is your bitting. It's not too bad, it's not too evil. Hmm, see how we go. And um get it viced up. Okay. Represent this American lock. And tensioner. I think I'll use this one. It's got a got a bit of got a bit of a recessed core. I think that one will do the job. And let's try the SS Dev in 25 thousandths. Uh, and let's try to give it a pick. So start from the beginning, start from one. So you can see that it's quite offset um, the keyway. It's already a, set like an angle. Um, it's not straight with the uh, uh, lock because I think there's a little kick in there and that bolt is in the middle so it goes on either side so it's obviously on the right side okay that's all right so here we go let's give this a pick so first off one feel springy two feel springy Oh, just hit three, got a click, more click and movement. Might be set now, I'm not too sure. Okay, got more click and movement. Okay, now it feels set, three feels set now. Okay, okay, four behind it. Feels binding, hold on. Let's go back to five. I think that's fine. Yeah. This ankle's put me off a little bit. Okay, got a click out of five and movement. That's four there. Can you locate four properly? I'm gonna try to find the pins now. Okay, I just touched something there and it moved. Let's go back to the start and try to find four there. So, I think there's something out of one there. I think. I'll leave that alone. Two. Still feels a bit bindy. Springy bindy. Oh, this feels weird. Um, so, three had those clicks, right? Okay. Oh, that was four there. Oh, into a false set. Nice, a lot, lot of movement there, as you can see. So that just went jump. So, go from the back again, I guess. And if you start feeling for any counter now. Um, oh, one is binding from the bottom here. Let's 
we can count to. Oh, and there we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, get this out of the way. Quickly do a gut. Uh, what was that one again? Phillips said. Usually these have a Torx 15 or 764th. Um, and I'm, I am on the screen. Yeah, 764th or a Torx 15. Um, yeah, I've, I've never taken apart one of these before, but I thought Master and Packlock sort of had the same because the Pro Series have the um, Torx 15 and the Packlock does as well. I thought this might have too. Where's that? In. There's the bottom plate. There's the kick cylinder. Oh, it's got an anti um, bypass plate. Huh. Nice. Um, let's look it back up and try the gut wrench. So I have to go that way. Am I still zoomed in? Okay, that's not bad. Still in view. Try the other guy, this small size. Let's see if that works. Okay, yep, works on the Americans nicely. Almost as good as a screwdriver. <laughs> Let's put it back and um, get the key. Give it a twist. Get a shim. Small one, so it might be that one there. Same one for the Avis 7240. Keep things with you there, okay. Yep, oh, damn, okay, okay, keep things there. Yep, and okay. This is a five pinner, but it's I think I might have stuffed up the um, gutting a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. There's a pin six, which looks like a driver. Where the hell did that come from? How did that happen? I'm not gonna shim in there. Actually, what's the side of it? Oh, that wasn't. Yeah, that was upside down. Damn it. My bad. It's probably one of the M ones. Yeah, which is the front. Um. <laughs> now I'm just discombobulated. So I'll just line these up quickly. These key pins are really, really small. Like, these locks have really small pins in them. Like, these American locks. I'm not sure if that's the case with all of them. There's a driver from I don't know where. Yes, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, this is the front. So start from pin one. Okay, so pin one's got a spool. Serrated spool. It looks like, yeah, it's got serrations on the ends. Serrated in two. Got springs. Threes are serrated as well. A spring. I'll just turn it around and have a look what's happened here. I think the back driver fell in. Whoa, when I've cut a spring in half. Oh wow man. That sucks. That's our other spare springs. Thanks to Papa Smurf actually. Sent me in a whole bunch of sub sub caliper sub caliber pins. Speaking of caliper. <laughs> I'm going to measure one of these pins just to see what um, size they are. Be interested to see. 
So usually you you got 2.8 or 3 mil. So let's zero this off. And these are 2.4s. Okay. 2.4 mil or 95 thousandths. Interesting. Alright, I'll just get the magic box and uh, give you guys a quick close up of these pins and explanation, description, rather. Sorry, it's been a long day today, very long day. stuff going on down there. This guy belongs that way. That's just the one I measured. So all key pins one, two, three of double serrations on the very top, all in the same positions. Four is a little short key pin, no serrations, five is the same as one, two, and three, just a bit longer, but the same double serrations. Uh, spool with um, serrations on each end. And then you got serrated, serrated, and then that same type of spool and then another serrated very light serrations there not very deep serrations yeah that was a cool little fun pick all right guys um i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one take care